today is the day the springs finally go on the Supra. I'm kind of in a rush, so I'm going to put this in, I'm going to head out, and then I'll pick up the vlog when I get to SSL Performance. Um, hopefully it looks good. It's supposed to drop like 1.7 inches or something like that, but we'll see when um, we get there. And my voice is a little bit deep or whatever because um, I'm kind of sick. Sore throat, but I mean, oh well. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and take this and then uh, we'll see from there. I just drank something for my sore throat and right away I feel a difference. Freaking hot tea, uh, green tea with honey. So right now, I'm, gonna, I'm not even going to let this warm up. I'm just going to put it in neutral and let it warm up going down the hill. And then I'm going to meet up with Freddy, head out, drop it off. This should be done hopefully within four hours, five. That's what they said. But you never know. Something can go wrong. Praying nothing goes wrong because then... I know many people are gonna be like, oh, you're not letting it warm up, what the hell, you're crazy. No, so what I do is I put it on neutral, and then once I get down the hill, it already has like two little lines or three, hopefully, and then from there I'm good to go. So, I slow down, then neutral, and then all the way down. So we just got here to SSR Performance. Uh, I'm going to show you guys the stock height. Then I'm going to go in there and talk to them. And then uh, I'm going to head back home. And then I'll pick up the vlog probably when I'm on my way back to pick it up. So I'll show you guys stock height right now. And then show you after. So see, how, see how it looks. Alright, so this is what it looks like stock height. It has a little, a lot of wheel gap in the front. Not that much in the back. But look at that monster wheel gap. So I'm hoping it's sitting a lot better. So I had to close this because they're going to put it in themselves and then I'll be picking it up when it's done. Ah, oh, fuck! Shouldn't have cussed. Alright, I'm going to go pick up my car finally. And this just arrived, my diffuser. So I'm going to save this for tomorrow. So I'm going to upload this video by tonight, hopefully. And then, you know, two videos, so yeah. Alright guys, so the Supra, I couldn't pick it up last night because they weren't done. So today I'm picking it up, but right now I'm heading to LA to go drop off my fiance's car because it's getting uh, worked into the hood. Something happened to it. So right now we're gonna go do that, then I'm gonna pick up the Supra, and then uh, I'm gonna give you guys, <laughs> I'm gonna give you guys uh, like how, it's, how it feels and all that, cause some people have been asking me how it feels and all that, so we'll see. All right guys, so I just got photos from the, the people that are working on the Supra. It's done. Um, it has no more wheel gap, thank God, but like the wheels pushed in because you know that's what happens So I need to get some spacers a fatter tire in the back Basically new wheels so I can have it sitting clean um, I'm not gonna throw any wheels on it until I have enough money to blow for the TE 37s because they cost roughly five thousand dollars of tires So once I have that I'll be getting that but other than that right now I'm just gonna keep the wheel fitment I have uh, powder coat them a satin gloss black and then uh, hopefully order some carbon fiber parts again soon. But I'll be picking up the vlog once I get over there. Um, and then, yeah, see how everything goes. All right, so we just got to SSR. And here it is, sitting on Ibrock, Ibach Pro Kit Springs. Uh, I was just told that it's gonna sit lower actually. Right now it's still adjusting. It's not bad at all. Wheel gap, let's see. Like, almost, yeah, about two fingers. Jeez, not bad, and it's gonna sit lower. Then my diffuser goes on today, might even squeeze it on a video, on this same video. Everything's cut. oh, this is our performance sticker, dope. <laughs> yeah, so it looks good. I'm gonna go ahead and drive it home and I'll pick up the vlog over there once I get my diffuser and then start working on it with Freddy, and then yeah. Jeez, dream car. Alright, so, just heading out right now from SSR. And uh, I had some credit on there because this car can't be tuned yet until mid-July, mid-August because this ECU is stage 4, so it's really hard to get tuned at the moment. So I had like $900 in there, so I paid for the install, and then I had $400, and then I was like, you know what, screw it, can I get charge pipes? So I ordered charge pipes, they arrived Thursday, they get installed Friday morning by them. Um, basically, it's not a, it's something performance, it's more like to reassure that you're like, apparently the turbo, oh no, the charge pipe doesn't crack because if it's upgraded, 
they tend not to crack whereas when they're stock they do crack from too much booster pressure so i got them in red so i could give the engine a little like, nice look and then um from there i'm gonna save up like i said for the car fiber spoiler the hood and then a wrap and then once the tune comes out my goal is to be making like 550 wheel horsepower 600 call it a day and then save up eventually like in a year or two for a full wide body kit for this car i know people are like oh why don't you just wide body and then um ba i mean uh wrap it well i don't have 10 grand sitting around and then if i end up selling this car it's gonna be considered salvage because it's gonna be cut into the frame or whatever and yeah i don't wanna you know i don't i don't, I don't tend to keep cars long but i mean this one i do see uh, me keeping it for a while actually because i do enjoy this car a lot and it's a fun car overall and so far the springs they don't feel bad it's really really nice really good at handling too so yeah i'll pick up the vlog once i get to the diffuser and to my friend's house so just got home the super looks so good from a distance i'm actually happy with the ibrock ibock i keep saying it ibock ibock pro kit it's really good a lot of people in the super forums weren't recommending it but Ibach is really good overall. They're recommending HKS, but I've had Ibach on all my cars. So it's sitting really good. I think they want 1.7 in the back. I think 1.5, but I mean, it looks more than 1.7, which I'm not, I don't really care. It takes up a lot of wheel gap. I just gotta get an alignment. Cause you, as you can see, the wheel's like, like that a little bit. It's an alignment. So right now I'm waiting for Freddy to get off work. Then we're gonna install the diffuser, and then I'm gonna probably I might order my wing tonight. Depends. And then charge pipes on Friday, and then tuning when everything is all good to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and just stay in my room. It's really hot outside, and then I'll pick up the vlog when Freddy texts me. He's ready. All right, so we just got to Freddy's house, and right now he's getting the diffuser ready, assembling it, assembling it and then it's gonna be installed. And then we got the Shloby. <laughs> and then we got his brother's 5.0 over here that he just got. Your plates haven't arrived yet? Yeah, but I haven't put them on yet. Oh, boys. Where are my customs? Oh, you got customs? What'd you get? Oh. I got 5.0 blue, I think. 5.0 blue? Yeah. And we got the SSR sticker and Street Arrow, but Freddy made fun of me because it's crooked, so we're going to change it right now. Since he's a perfectionist over here. All right, guys, so I'm debating on ordering this wing, but I do want it in carbon fiber. So that's how much comes out to the wing is that big piece up there. It's by TJ Hunt. Obviously, I'm not going wide body yet, but that's the wing. If I don't get this exact wing, I do want to get an MK4 style because the ducktail um, it can't be removed when wrapped. So if I am getting the car wrapped next month, and if it were to go that way, um, it'll break. So let me know in the comments if I should get this wing right here. Freddie just points it out how tiny these bolts are. Hold on, let me try to focus it. All right, so we're loading up the wing. I mean the wing, <laughs> the diffuser. I think it's gonna look good. Yeah, hopefully. I have a feeling someone in the comments gonna be like, why is he using a jack stand to install it? So this is for the people who don't know, it's to line it up. Ooh. Dude, holy shit, it's gonna look good. Does it look like that? Yeah. I know it goes in between these guys right here, the fin. Right? Yeah. I think. How come yours doesn't say street arrow? Huh? <gasps> so yours does. Yeah, I saw that. Really? Yeah. You pull it up with acid green? I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it's gonna sit? Bruh. I'm just mounting the holes. Alright. Looks good. So my way of paying back Freddy was to buy him one of those modelos. And he has yet to try. That wasn't work. Huh? What? Huh? Bro, I'm not wearing makeup. Don't do me like that. You look ugly with or without. Ew! Ew! Your eye got stuck. Jack! Ew! I got that on video. Shut up, Jack. Oh my god! <laughs> All right, guys. So, uh, Freddy and my sister and his brother convinced me, and I ordered my TJ Hunt carbon fiber wing. Yeah, I got a car fiber. I was gonna get not Freddy finished the diffuser and it looks so damn good. Jeez. Can't wait till the wing's on now. It's gonna look way more better. Why are you laughing? Stop, my eyes gonna twitch. Why are you laughing? Oh shit. <laughs> what? Can I super charge back? And a mock one. Oh shoot. 
Dang, this is a symbol that you're slow. Uh huh. Is this why you wanted to record? <laughs> 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 Bam. That sounds like Jackie when she laughs. laughs. Oh, it looks fucking fine. It does actually. Not bad. I did it. I did it. It is a little bit nighttime. This is the end of the vlog. Let me know what you guys think about the springs, how it looks. Uh, I'm gonna do a GoPro video of it driving and talking about how it handles. Right now it's still settling in apparently. And I just ordered my wing and then charge pipe's still gonna install Friday. So I'll be doing videos. I can't wait for that wing to come in. I think it's gonna look really good hopefully. But make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and let me know what you guys want to see on my next YouTube video.